page at y254 on Twitter and they just you can equally follow us on Instagram that is y254 underscore channel my name is Michelle Lashira and uh, again thank you so this time around we have another interview by Nana other than an artist <coughs> who has been into the game for more than a decade and team millennials like you and I cannot cannot relate to uh, the fact that he has been into the game but he's taste of music and how far he has come is a story that you need to stick around for and he'll be telling us more about his new projects and what he has been doing in these uh, couple of few years and uh, make sure you stay tuned because this is another it's a revolution yes because you need to hear more about this particular artist Voxy is in the building thank you for coming through mashkuru pia kabisa mashkuru sana now First time yangu mimi kuwa introduce to you. Haikuwa mm -hmm. mbali sana ilikuwa after umefanya I believe ni machozi uh, chozi. Chozi. Uh -huh. Na the time when I had you on that track nilikuwa I was 100% sure that you are TZ. Mm -hmm. And then after long after a while then I was like I went through your bio and I was like wow this is our fellow Kenyan artist. Mm -hmm. So probably start off by telling us mbona ukachagua jina Voxy. Uh, Vioxi yenye ina maana yake mm -hmm. Vioxi ina maanisha virtuous mm -hmm. uh, inspiration integral mm -hmm. optimistic extreme mm -hmm. influence eh uh, UI ilikuwa ni medabu hapo okay alafu uh, dede dede ni jina la babangu sasa mm -hmm. kwa ajili sikutumia jina lake kwenye uh, kwenye ID yangu ikabidi sana nikatumia jina lake kumwakilisha eh kwe, ni kwe nayo tu. Okay. Uh -huh. So you've been into the game uh, for more than uh, 10 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, listening to your kind of music which you're doing it's uh, it's classic because it can stay it can prolong generation from generation. We can still listen to your kind of music and we can still relate to the issues that you're addressing. So when did you start uh, falling in love with music per um, se. Oh, oh, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 kwa hivyo Kiswahili na mimi ni njia ya kujieleza njia ambapo mtu akinisikiza au akisikiza umba, umbo wangu nikiimba katika hiyo lugha ya Kiswahili mm -hmm. anapata unajua Kiswahili unaambatana na utaarabu fulani hivi mm -hmm. eh ndio maana nilichagua alafu mziki mziki tuseme ilianza kitambo nikiwa mdogo uh, ingawa labda siwezi nikasema lilianza mziki wakati liliingia studio nilipenda mziki kitambo Uh, hizo enzi nilikuwa nasikiza general muziki zote kulikuwa na tapes za za lingala kwaya ambayo mamangu alikuwa ananunua nikisikiza una, una fall in love pole pole na muziki alafu with time nikapata kwamba hip hop wa, kulingana na generation ama miaka ambayo mimi nilikuwa hip hop ilikuwa na culture ambayo mimi na relate nayo unaona ya tamaduni yake jinsi watu wanavovaa jinsi yao walikuwa wanajieleza wana uh, alafu hip hop hizo enzi zetu za 90s ilikuwa ni revolutionary hip hop ambayo mimi nilikuwa nafuatilia sana sana eh hapo ndo nikaanza kidogo mpaka mwisho nilifikia nika record wimbo ya kwanza hata kabla ku record nilifikia niliandika wimbo wa kwanza kama niko darasa la saba ah uh, ku record ile record wimbo wa kwanza 2006 Uh -huh. Okay so from 2006 uh -huh. upo ndo lanzia muziki na so professionally mhm mm wakati ambapo sasa ukaamua this is what I'm going to do full time uh, professionally kabisa sasa aliingia uh, studio ku record mwaka wa 2012 2012 mm -hmm. ambao aliingia studio ambao si kama zile studio ambazo alikuwa na record mwanzo aliingia mm -hmm. studio ambao sema quality ilikuwa safi hata ngoma yenyewe ya kwanza ilichezwa sana radio taifa hii station ya yeah, hmm. KBC uh, baada ya hapo ndo sasa nikapata mwelekeo kwamba ukitaka ngoma yako ifikie idadi ya makiwango fulani lazima ukue na, na quality fulani unaona 
Uh, baada ya hapo sasa ndio nikawa sasa nafanya mziki kwa minaji ili ya kuitembeza ifike mahali. Okay. Uh -huh. Na kwa wengine wetu tunge we are asking this question mm -hmm. like you've been in this game for a while. Mm -hmm. katika uh, sana mziki mm -hmm. kwa muda wa zaidi ya miaka 10. Lakini wengi wetu mm -hmm. atukujui uh, ilikuwa ni kwa sababu mtu kama mtu yote tu yule akiangalia ama akisikiza mziki wako mm -hmm. ni mziki ambao ni, kama nilivyosema in address social issues injustices na ni vitu ambavyo sisi wa Kenya tunapitia it's reality mm -hmm. and uh, ningependa kusema hardcore kind of reality kind of hip hop yeah, yeah. so ile kwa, ile swali nauliza ni mbona atuja kujua kwa hizi miaka zote ilikuwa ni ya yako kuhakikisha mm -hmm. kwamba wewe unafanya tu mziki for the passion na preaching the message of what you are going through in the society ama tu naelewa swali lako nikisema mwanzo nikianza unajua wakati una unapenda mziki ukianza mziki unakuwa na na focus fulani nilijua baada ya miaka kadhaa nitakuwa star fulani nitakuwa nimefika kiwango fulani lakini baadaye nikagundua hii ni safari safari ndefu maana wakati hata hiyo mbango wa kwanza ulicheza kwenye kwenye redio redio taifa redio KBC uh, baada ya hapo ikawa lazima tena nirejee ni studio ni record uh, ngoma fulani tena quality kama ile sasa hizo napata labda ndio au una kazi au una pesa ya kulipia studio inakuwa ni safari fulani unaona ili ukamilisha au ufikie hiyo kiwango sasa kidogo kidogo pia ikabidi sasa ni, ni jitafute ndio nikajipata nikamwambia sasa mimi nitakuwa nikifanya hii type ya mziki nitaji brand kama recording artist mm -hmm. Mimi sasa labda sitakuwa nikitembea kwenye radio station. Mimi nalipa kwenye studio na record album. Kazi yangu ni kuuza album kwenye online na kwa wafasi wangu wa muziki online. Sasa with time sikuwa ni kama baadaye sikuwa tayari kwa hiyo publicity na na fame maana hii publicity na fame ya kwanga ni nundu. Mm. Ni nundu ambao kama una mgongo ambao unaweza ukaibeba okay. utashinda umelema unaona mm. sasa inataka ukomavu fulani maana ukikupata kama bado wewe ni kijana oh, inaweza ikakuchapa ukalegea kabisa unaona yeah, kwa sababu pia tulikuwa tuna, tuliko tunazungumza na we address the issue kwamba most of the young people are holding kind of rap music uh -huh. they tend to portray a different uh, lifestyle which they are not living yeah yeah, na, yeah iyo pressure ku just to maintain the kind of life <coughs> that's the reason why they get into depression and also drug addictions and any other form of addictions mm -hmm. so your thoughts on the fact that just being real in the type of music that you're doing and your lifestyle just don't fake it for for the lifestyle or the kind of music that you're doing maida kwa sanyuba wana wanaangazia kuingia katika hii Hii sana. Sana ya mziki. Aha. Mawitha yangu. <laughs> na mawitha yangu si sheria. Ufai kupata. Uh -huh. Kufata. Uh, lakini kimtazamo wangu. Na vosema ni kumba. Um, si, si, si kumba na wapuzia. Wale ambao wana fake it. Mana kuna wale wame fake it. Waka make it. Unawana. Lakini hii kufake it. Kuna, kuna kiwango fulani pia ambao inadhuru watu ambao wanakuazimia wewe kama role model ama inadhuru wewe mwenyewe binafsi maana ikiwa sasa mimi ni superstar naonekana kwenye TV hivi unajua kuna watu ambao wakikuona kwenye TV bila anajua familia yangu wengine wananiona kwenye TV wanasema ah huyu jamaa mimi kitu jamaa na pesa huyu alafu sasa wewe uko hapo niko hapa ninakaa na star na ng'a ikifika mtaani sina kitu alafu wale marafiki ambao mna hang nao pale wanakumok we vipi bana hata uwezi ka kombe cha kaa uwezi ukatoa nini nini maswala za familia hizo majukumu uwezi ukatimiza lakini tunakuona kwenye social media we ni mtu wa, wa maana we ni mtu wa nguvu we ni mtu kwenye video unaashiria mtu ambaye ana pesa unaona alafu sasa we mwenyewe unakuja unahisi yenyewe hii maisha ambayo naishi ni kama unaishi maisha mbili mtu mmoja sasa ndio maana unapata wengine kidogo kiakili unaona generation sasa hizi mambo na depression sizi mara nini unajiingiza kwa madawa na tunapo kwa tukizungumzia kuhusu the pressure that young people are facing that mm -hmm. gets us gets us to your first album mm -hmm. ambao uli yachilia kwa mwaka wa 2014 14 ambayo freedom in chase ya yeah, huru kwa minyororo ya maudhui ambayo inatukana na hiyo title what i'm saying is uh, mm -hmm. personal experiences mm -hmm. that what you've gone through yeah, yeah. and then you address them 
in the album. In the music, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, huru kwa minyororo ama freedom in chains ni katika ile harakati uko huru kuji express ku, kupitia hii mziki ambao unaipenda lakini sasa hiyo minyororo ni hizo changamoto ambazo unapitia kila kila wakati unaona eh hiyo ndo sasa hiyo freedom in chains ndio topic ya ya hiyo album kwa hivyo kwenye album nimezungumzia story ya mfungo fulani wa ambaye yupo kwenye jela mm -hmm. ni story ambayo inaendelea utaifuata kwenye ngoma ya kwanza kwa album ngoma ya pili ngoma ya tatu mpaka ya nne alafu inakatika hapo sasa ni story ya ujamaa pia pressure marafiki alishikwa akafungwa sasa akiwa kotini anajitetea lakini alishikwa kwa sio kwa kwa ajili alifanya makosa ni, ni, ni kama betrayal rafiki yake sasa akiwa jela anaandikia bibi na watoto barua mtoto pia anamjibu kwa hivyo hiyo kujibizana na yeye kuandika barua ni part za mziki ambazo ziko kwenye hiyo album huru kwa minyororo alafu pia kuna ngoma zingine ambazo yeah okay. Yeah. Na kuna one of your <coughs> nipokuwa nipitia tanda wako uh -huh. wa Facebook. Uh -huh. Nilipata uh, one of your fans anasema kwamba wewe ndio unaleta the real hip hop into the game. How do you maintain uh, to be how do you maintain to be to retain to be true to yourself in a world where hip hop the different genres of hip hop coming up. Mm -hmm. We have trap, we have shrap. Nia yako tu umeamua uta you will just take this direction of uh, hardcore kind of Aha. Ni swali gumu hilo lakini uh, sio sio kwamba mimi nikifanya hardcore reality hip hop reality reality hip hop amaanishi siwezi nikaangusha verse kwenye trap ama nikafanya ngoma ya trap. Naweza nika trap maana kama msanii ukitaka ukae kwenye industry lazima uevolve. Mhm. Mm hey, juu sasa iwezi kuwa wewe crank ilikuja wewe hiyo crank ndio umefiti na hapo alafu crank ikipotea umekufa na hiyo generation ya crank lazima we evolve lakini kwa sasa hii album zangu ya kwanza na ya pili ilikuwa nime stick lakini hata hapa bado nina ngoma moja moja za, za trap ambao nimefanya kwa hivyo kuna hiyo hiyo evolving ni lazima na ngoma zinakuja hizo za hizo za hizo za trap ngoma zinakuja unaadhibisha ya tafanya sawa sawa uh, uh, mwaka last year mwaka wa jana mm -hmm. kwa toa album nyingine naitwa mm -hmm. Maktaba ya Mita mm -hmm. Street Library Street Library yeah. na napenda maudhui yako kwa kila album ambayo unayotoa kwa sababu mm -hmm. unazungumzia just as a theme from the title mm -hmm. it just goes back to it's very easy for your fan ama mtu ambaye anapenda kusikiza mziki wako angependa kujua mziki wako it's very easy who associate with whatever you are trying to address kama mm -hmm. state library i am thinking ulikuwa unaangazia ile mentality ama ukiwa katika mta mhm mm kupata ile knowledge uh, street library mm -hmm. ama maktaba ya mita mm -hmm. unajua maktaba ni, ni kinyumba fulani ambao vitabu vinawekwa mm -hmm. na vitabu huhifadhi matukio ama events ambazo zimefanyika unaona kwa hivyo hii sana sana kwa hizi album zangu mimi uzichukua kama watoto wangu mtoto wa kwanza mtoto wa pili hata wakati ambapo sita kuwepo duniani hapa niko sure mjuku wangu ikiwa atakuepo ili 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 kitabu litakuwa ni kama ili album litakuwa ni kama kitabu maana kuna vitabu kwenye 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 library ambayo viliandikwa miaka zilizopita lakini ukienda pale utalipata utasoma utapata information pale kwa hivyo album hii maktaba ya mitaa um, kwangu ilikuwa ni kama matukio ambayo zinafanyika kwenye mtaani unaona mimi sasa aidha zinani affect directly ama ni story ya rafiki wangu fulani ama ni vitu ambavyo vinafanyika ya kisiasa historia ya Afrika ama vitu za kijamii ambazo zinatu affect kila siku sasa nazieka kwenye nyimbo labda ni story yako wewe umenipigia story aujui nitaiandika mimi naiweka kwa njia ambayo labda mao, kitu ambao wewe unapitia labda mwingine anapitia sehemu nyingine hasa nikieka kwa wimbo yule ambaye atasikia atapata ku atapata labda ameguswa kwa njia moja ama nyingine unaona eh yeah. album got nominated for an award oh yeah 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 in 2018 yeah. 
na nilisikia kwamba kulikuwa ulikuwa nominated among us bingwa wa sasa hivi ambao bado wanatajika lakini <laughs> sasa umesema uko ready tutakuona katika tutakusikiza zaidi eh, ah saizi 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 mimi mtu mzima uh -huh. unajua hizo wakati labda nilikuwa na ujana mwingi ningekuja kwa TV hivi nirudi mtaani iko sasa nimefiat kabisa lakini sasa hivi mimi mtu mzima naweza handle anything naweza handle labda fame though mm -hmm. siko siko on that fame thing kabisa lakini naweza handle pa publicity unajua ni kitu labda kama auko au maujatimia hiyo umri wa ku handle itaita itakubambanya ita unaona yeah. lakini sasa hivi sasa niko tayari na nashukuru kwa kila mtu ambaye ali ali alivotia hii album ilikuwa tuko mm -hmm. na kategori ya, ya wazito kwenye industry yeah, ambapo hata jinsi ilipanda kushinda ilikuwa kwangu ilikuwa ni mshtuko lakini nilikuwa najua ile following ambao nimetengeneza kuanzia wakati nilianza mm hii -hmm. mziki imekuwa tight ile design ambao ulisikiza single yangu ya kwanza we mwenyewe unanitisha unasema utatoa lini ya pili yeah. yule ambaye alinunua album ya kwanza uliza bana unatoa album ya pili lini hata wengine walikuwa wanalipia mapema maana mm -hmm. ile kazi ambayo uliweka kwa album ya kwanza walikuwa wame ile tuna connect Unajua mziki ni kama product ambao kampuni inatengeneza ikiwa uwezi uka connect na consumer mm. basi hakuna kitu ambacho unafanya kama mwanabiashara yeah, unaona eh yeah. to respect the client eh yeah, kabisa na ukatoa mziki ambao tutakuwa DJ Rajis you ready we play the new song by Roxy Koloni Mamboleo yes Mamboleo yeah kabla mm. tujiondoka pingine tutapatia uh, watu nyumbani uh, your social media handles so that they can follow you now oh. they you can tell them any other new projects that are coming up so that we can be on standby waiting for good music from you okay face the camera um nafanya album ya tatu inaitwa kwa damu na wino in blood and ink uh, in blood and ink ni ni ni, ni personal kabisa vitu ambao nimepitia ni damu familia nini maana ka tangu release album ya pili kumekuwa na vitu vingi ambao nimepitia personally sasa the only way mimi uzi release ni kupitia mziki kwa hivyo twitter handle yangu instagram ni at @vioxidede uh, facebook vioxidede utanipata ama page vioxination alafu insta the same way Alafu niko na crew pia East Wave Unit tuko pamoja maana siko hapa peke yangu ni jeshi eh ndio wamefanikisha mikuja hapa lazima ni wabiga Victor Mula na DJ M3 na crew yote kabisa nashukuru Asante sana boss mm. coming through mm. and guys back at home make sure you follow Voxy he has good music classical addressing social issues reality issues that you and I are facing guys this is the where we come uh, at the end of the show my name is Michelle Ashira thanks uh, at Barry Moore Karen Kang Kang. So make sure you keep time next Thursday, hashtag hip hop Thursday. And uh, remember, still follow us on our social media handles at Y254 channel on our Facebook page. So uh, we are not going just to leave you like that. This is where the point where Voxy steps in and he gets to perform his new music or any other good music that he has because we are here to just celebrate that. Voxy. I feel good in Nahoma. <laughs> Sasa itakuwaje? DJ Rajiz. Tutalipa beat. DJ Rajiz anatupatia nini kwanza? Okay. So DJ Rajiz prepares. Mano wezi jua ni lini mmoja wetu atatoweka. Ndio. Ndio potenza na mpenda kwa kifo.